Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on another one of our videos. In this video, we're featuring a beautiful Pomsky named Brunella. This dog is absolutely adorable, guys. But with these two mixes, be rest assured that there's gonna be a lot of undercoat, and that is the purpose of this video. So in the video, we're gonna show the process in stages of getting that undercoat out, getting her ready for the tub, the blow dry, and ultimately her finish. Before we get into it, we want to thank Brunella's owners, Sandra and her family. Thank you so much for letting us use Bruna for this amazing video. We really, really appreciate it. And you guys are doing an amazing job taking care of her at home. So if you enjoy this video or you find it helpful, do us a big favor, hit that like button and please subscribe if you're new. Let's get into it. Okay, so here she is. She's so beautiful. She's got those shocking blue eyes, guys. We just love Bruna. Uh, this is her second time with us and we just adore this dog. She has such a personality. She's such a little angel. Um, so we're definitely gonna be prepping her in stages. Uh, right now I'm just kind of trying to calm her down, give her some hugs and she's a little shaky, uh, but they all are when they first uh, get on the grooming table for the first time. What an angel. Good girl, Bruna. Just starting off with my slicker brush and just doing little light strokes, just getting her used to it and letting her know that this is what we're gonna be doing for a while. Let her smell the brush. So like I said, we're gonna be doing her in stages, so there's gonna be a lot of slicker brushing, uh, going back to the comb and then back to the slicker brush. Guys, I don't like to yank on dogs uh, with like a rake. Uh, not, that, not to say that we're not going to be using a rake on Bruna in the future, but if you go right at this with a rake and just start yanking on her, it's really going to cause a lot of pain uh, and pulling to the dog. And you don't want to scare dogs out of grooming. You really want to make the, the grooming experience as pleasant as possible. I'm working under her neck area here. And one thing I have to say is that Bruna's owners are doing an amazing job keeping her brushed out. <laughs> She's tired already. I'm getting behind the ears. Uh, dogs like this tend to get a lot of nodding behind the ears, so kind of focusing on that area get these little tufts of hair, and uh, if it goes unbrushed, they will mat up very quickly behind the ears. What an angel. It's hard to groom this dog and not kiss her and give her love. It's just really, really hard because she's just that type of dog that you just want to love all day and play with all day. I really wish I didn't even have to groom her. I wish I could just hang out with her and play with her all day because she's such a sweetie. Just kind of going, giving her like a once over, all over, uh, getting her used to getting brushed and uh, repositioned her there. Just working down her torso now. And right here in the hip area, guys, is where you're going to get a lot of undercoat. For some reason or another, it really just uh, billows up over there in their hips, um, and I'm, I'm sure it's just to keep their hip joints warm uh, for the type of breed uh, that she is, and that is the purpose of that. But 
again, look at how much undercoat we're getting out in just a couple of strokes, all from that area. And you could see the difference between her right hip and her left hip. You can see how much flatter it is because uh, we got that undercoat out. Going through it with the comb. There's a difference. Going to do the same thing on her left hip now. Again, just working it out with the slicker brush. We're not yanking, we're just kind of separating coat here and uh, doing it in stages and slowly. And uh, again, just Bruna just giving kisses. She looks like she really appreciates everything we're doing. So here I'm just testing, and again, guys, the Greyhound combs or these uh, the combs they don't lie. So uh, if you're feeling uh, snags, uh, that is an area you need to continue to brush. So. There you go. The goal is to get that brush through and uh, make it where you can get the comb through. Again, I'm just checking with the comb. Bruna loves to smell her, her coat and, and eat it. Don't eat it, Bruna. Can't eat it, no. Oh, it's on your head. <laughs> you silly dog, look at you. <laughs> it's hard to not play with this dog, guys. Again, just separating coat and going through it with the comb. And again, the neck and behind the ears is the tough spot. So that's why I kind of worked on it a little bit, then jumped around to the back area and the torso, and then come back to the neck area and uh, fine tune it a little bit. I'm just doing really, really light strokes, guys. And making it as, uh, you know, painless as possible. So whenever I feel a knot or a, a, a snag, I will stop and go back to my brush. Identify where it is, go back to the slicker brush, and then go back to the comb. It takes much longer to do this, but it is best for the dog, as opposed to just sitting there and yanking on it. You don't want to yank, guys. You will, you will scare dogs out of getting groomed. It's one of the main reasons why uh, a lot of Huskies don't like getting groomed is because at some point somebody just yanked on them and, and uh, just, just caused them a lot of pain rather than just do it slowly. We also see a lot of groomers just taking a dog like this and putting them in the tub. Um, again, guys, I, I don't agree with that. It's just my process, it's my opinion, uh, but I feel that you should get as much undercoat as you possibly can out prior to bathing uh, to take a dog like this with such a thick undercoat and put it in the tub is going to make the de-shedding process twice as hard in the end. I feel this to be necessary. 
brushing out her little tail here now uh, is yeah definitely to uh, get as much undercoat out prior to the bath and get the rest of it out after for the finish. Doing it in stages is key here. I'm supporting her tail with my left hand. So again, we're always supporting as well to minimize the pulling. I'm switching and pays to be uh, ambidextrous. If you're going to be a groomer, I, I switched and brushing with my left hand now, so uh, practice that. And this is all just from the tail area. All of that came out of her tail. So I'm back at her head and uh, her behind her ear again because uh, she did have a little bit of a knot there and I was just working it out in stages and um, I figured let me do the rest of her and then I'll jump back to that and uh, work on it so and Bruna is just full of kisses getting to the point where our greyhound comb is just kind of flowing through her. And this is where you want to get to before you put them in the tub. Once you get to uh, getting most of that undercoat out, then she's tub ready. She's just gorgeous. One of the sweetest dogs we've ever groomed. So this is her, her prep here. This is what we got out of her initially. And it's tub time, Bruna. Again, guys, this is Bruna's second time. So she's really learning and obviously she's just giving Anthony kisses now. It's hard to not love this dog. Anthony's just kind of wetting her down slowly, getting her used to it. Again, we're not just like squirting her in the face or anything. I've seen a lot of groomers just take the hose and just start squirting them in the face. And it's just not the way to go, guys. You really want to just ease these dogs into grooming. Getting a good lather going. And with these double coated guys, you really want to uh, make sure that you rinse them well. And uh, as you just saw, expect to get very wet. When these dogs shake, it's gonna feel like you're in the tub with them. There's Bruna saying, thank you for my bath. Now let's go, I wanna go home. I love you guys, but I want to go home. All right, guys, so now she's on the drying table and uh, we're using a, a forced air dryer connected to an arm. And what this is gonna do is it's really just gonna separate more coat. We're gonna get even more undercoat out of her. Still using that slicker brush. And again, by working her in stages like this, you're really going to get a much better finished look and, uh, and the whole grooming experience is going to be that much easier for the dog as opposed to just taking this dog and putting her in the tub 
and then de-shedding her later. Okay, back on the finishing table. And we're just going to repeat the process here, guys. And uh, just work out whatever is left. And now that the coat is nice and clean, it's going to come out twice as easy. She's getting tired. So you can see how beautiful she's coming out. So you know, it's just minimal. We're just getting out any extra here that we didn't get out before in the hip area. But you can see how easy it's coming out now and uh, how pretty her coat is looking. And um, going back to the slicker brush, uh, I felt a little bit of knotting there and I didn't want to yank, so I went right back to the slicker brush again and I'm using two slicker brushes here. One is more coarse than the other. So this is the more coarse one, um, but now I feel comfortable using the more coarse one because there's just less undercoat to brush. It's just still getting all this undercoat out. doing a little clipper work here. So uh, Prune is a little sound sensitive. We're trying to get her used to the clippers, so I'm just kind of getting her used to it, doing, uh, doing her rear with a snap-on comb. It, I'm using a number four snap-on comb with a 10 blade. And uh, again, just trying to get her used to it. She wasn't crazy about it, but it's her second time and she's doing amazing. and we will be able to do this uh, a little better as time goes on. And I'm even doing her underside here with the clipper. I didn't want to use the scissors. She was really sound sensitive to the scissors, so. And uh, here she is before. Little Bruna, baby. And here's after. What an angel. She's so happy and she feels better. What a gorgeous dog. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up this video. Give it up for Bruna. Guys, if you like this video, do us a big favor. Hit the like button. Please subscribe if you're new, and we will see you in the next video. I'm just going to take these kisses.